Hey everybody, it's Aaron Norris with The Norris Group. It's Wednesday because it's Thanksgiving uh, tomorrow, so we're gonna be closed. But when it comes to predictions for 2020, what are the things that you would like to never see again? That and much more as we cover the biggest headlines in real estate. Up on the radio show and podcast, we have John Aronson, the ADU expert, and there's been a lot of talk because of all the bills that passed in October. So John and I go through all the bills for the next two weeks, what changes, some things that we got excited about, um, and just a general update of the state of accessory dwelling units. You won't want to miss that on the radio show and podcast. New home sales were strong last month, having increased 0.7% to 733,000 units. Home prices increased 3.2% year over year in September, an improvement from August. Housing inventory has been in short supply for the past decade in large part because builders have struggled to overcome the scarcity and rising costs. Well, Zillow says a flood of homes will come on the market in the next 20 years as the silver tsunami of baby boomers leaving their homes at record levels in the coming years free up tons of inventory. Within two decades, more than a quarter of, a, of currently owner-occupied homes will become available. What's interesting about this is specific states like California, you've got it where owners aren't leaving because they can't afford to move at least in the same state they have to exit the state so they have to stay here because proposition 13 sort of has them locked in so it's going to be really interesting to watch this and seniors because of technology robotics will they end up staying in their homes with robotics and wearables allowing them to do more at where they currently live we'll have to wait and see i don't know if i agree agree with this prediction by zillow in the age of technology, Forbes says it may be time to revive the lost art of door knocking and cold calling. Technology allows us to market a property to thousands and even millions of people in a click of a button, utilize algorithms, and directly target very specific prospects, deploying software that automates a lot of the process. That said, it is important not to underestimate the power of traditional techniques, plus technology can be integrated to make that even more effective. We have a lot of real estate investors that do nothing but things like door knock and uh, cold calling, so there you go. The Federal Housing Finance Agency has raised maximum conforming loan limits for the fourth straight year. This means that mortgage rates that adhere to Fannie and Freddie uh, maximum MIMS will have a new national maximum around 510,000 with a high cost areas at 765,000. Up on the screen, you're gonna see comparisons of 2019 and 2020 here in some of the big counties in California. So overall, it's about, about an average of 5% increase here in California, but in some areas that can make a lot of buying power. So stay tuned, 2020 could be exciting. With everyone talking about predictions for the new year, Apartment Therapy gives us eight real home trends that hopefully don't make a comeback in 2020. See if you agree. Let's see, we've got ruffled toilet seat covers, especially when they match your window <laughs> balances. You've got bathroom carpeting. Doesn't even have to be shag. Any carpeting in the bathroom, just say no, unless you really like growing mushrooms inside the house. Plaid overload. A plaid pillow here and there may be good, but maybe leave it off the walls, I don't know. Etched shower doors, just no. Mirrored bathrooms, no. But I don't know, maybe smoke glass? I don't know if I agree with that one. Glass blocks. I know you're, you've been thinking, what if we could use sweet lighting effects and glass blocks? I don't know, this is another one. I don't hate it. It could be cool. And then we've got carpet on the walls. Really folks, I don't think I've ever seen carpet on the walls. That would be very extra. I don't even think I've seen a 70s home with carpet on the wall. Personally, I'm really voting for the popcorn ceilings with glitter, y'all but I'd love to hear what, you, what trends you would like to see completely go away or never come back in 2020. We'll put you on record. If you're on YouTube, please leave your comments below the video and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell if you'd like to receive notifications when we have new videos come online. If you're on Facebook or any other social media platform, please like and make sure to like the Norris Group page so you can find our content online whenever we produce it. Leave your comments below the video, give us some love and don't forget to share. If we missed a story also, feel free to leave a link in the description below. We would love to see you out and about. We have one final event for this year, December 10th. We are launching a brand new talk. Bruce Norris is launching his six things to succeed in 2020 at the biggest holiday party in Southern in California for investors at SDCIA. If you're in San Diego, we'd love to see you. We start pretty hard in January with this talk going all over Southern California. January 7th, we're doing the talk at Prosperity through real estate in Los Angeles. The very next day, we'll be in Los Angeles in the Glendale, uh, Pasadena area doing that talk 
at the 2020 Los Angeles Real Estate Summit with Robert Hall and Associates. January 9th, we're at OC RIA doing that very same chat. And January 14th, we're at Coachella Valley Real Estate Investors Association. So plenty of chances to catch us in Southern California, and we'd love to see you. Mark your calendars. February 1st is turmoil, the coming storm of interest rate changes. We've changed it up slightly because we have a lot of new research to share with you. February 1st, uh, that's an all-day market timing event here in Riverside. March 19th, also mark your calendars, Florida Buying Bootcamp. If you're interested in investing out of state, uh, we'll be going out there in March, but you can start early. Comes with a lot of cool stuff, including a one-on-one -on -one with Bruce Norris, about eight hours of prep uh, videos and information on a portal, a 200-page book, and then, of course, the live event in March. We'd love to work with you in diversifying and upgrading your portfolio. Uh, for more information on hard money loans, including fix and flip, buy and hold, and new construction loans, oh yeah, and accessory dwelling unit loans, check out the norrisgroup.com, hit the hard money tab, or if you want to be on the passive side with notes, mortgages, and trustees, check out that invest tab. With that, have a fantastic holiday weekend. Happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see you next week.